Hi there! This is iCast Channel and in this video I'm going to do a review on this 1959 Dodge Custom Royal Lancer hardtop made in a 1 to 18 scale by Simstar Platinum Collection. One of those classics from the 1950s. And before we unbox this car, I'm going to ask you to subscribe my channel, click the bell for news, and also like and share this video. So let's unbox this car and take a better look at it. One of the very nice features of those Sunstar model cars is they have this small brochure and this little brochure shows some features of the car. Besides this design that was somewhat revolutionary at the time, it had some features that were sometimes only available in Chrysler cars. Just like these seats, they used to swing out and they were available in Chrysler and Dodge cars at the time, I think in the Sotos as well, I'm not quite sure about the Sotos, but they were available in Chrysler cars at the time. They also had this push button transmission in which you had a choice of choosing the gears by pushing the buttons on the dashboard. Adso tried to do that, but put in the push button system in the middle of the steering wheel and but that feature in the Adso I don't think it worked quite well since Adso was a dismal failure at the time. These were some of the options of the cars. They were four doors and two door hard tops and uh, convertible. This one was actually a sedan. This one was a four door hard top. A very nice looking car and some more features of a car. Details about the suspension, 383 engine that was shared with the DeSoto, heater, radio, chassis, so all details that were available for a car at the time. So there's a very nice booklet that came with the model car and the model car came inside this styrofoam box which protects it quite well along with this plate that really looks very nice. This Cars of a 1950s book which is a very nice source for information on such cars. I really like this Cadillac. I think it's a 54. On page 63 we find a Dodge. Pretty much like this model I'm showing but that one is a real car and it's made in white and green and a very nice color combination. The lines of the car are very nice and above the picture of the car you find a, a drawing of the engine, a, an illustration of a 383 which used to be the same engine that was shared with those the Soto models at the time. The Soto models were a little bit cheaper than Chrysler models they were a different Chrysler division at the time. On the next page, the Dodge station wagon for 1959 and the convertible, which is also made by Sunstar Platinum in this very color combination, just like this one. It's a very attractive car, very futuristic for the time. So this is the 59 Dodge Royal Custom. This car is really outstanding. I really like the line of this car. It's, it was very modern for 1959, actually. And Chrysler had made several nice, fast, and modern cars at a time back in the 1950s. And this Royal, this Dodge Royal is no exception. The painting has a very high quality. All decals, all badges and emblems are actually photo etched items. All trims are separate pieces. They're, they're not really cast in metal and painted. And the chrome has a very high quality. We can see all chrome trim made in, in the very in the minimal details. And these antennas are made in metal with a plastic chrome base, which has a very high quality. The windshield wipers move. So they come with a sticker right here in the windshield and the windshield, the rear window, the side windows have a very good transparency. They're made in a very high quality acrylic. The handle, the trim, the badges, this crown badge right here in the rear quarter panel, trim right here at the very end. And, uh, 
tail lights, headlights, bumpers, hubcaps, wheels, and wheel covers. All details in this car are made with perfection. Outside of a Royal Lancer, we can see that this car looked very modern at the time. And the cars of 1958 and 1959 especially were really the fanciest thing car could get at a time. Since this car was a Royal Lancer, we have the lance and a shield of the Royal Cavalry. It has a logo here at the tip of the front fender. That's very nice. And a Royal Crown right here. This gas cap is so realistic that it looks like it opens. It actually doesn't, but it must be made in a separate piece that was put here together and probably riveted it. Just like in those 1 to 64 die cast cars with the mushroom rivet. It looks really very nice. This color looks great. The trim looks great. This trim that goes all the way from front to rear looks very nice and has a lot of harmony with the bumpers and the lines of the car in general. The door handle is a separate piece and wheels and tires look great. The front of a car is very nice and sort of aggressive really and I really like those lines. They remind those of, of those Plymouths we had at the time. Uh, that famous 58 Plymouth, the Christine, that was actually a Plymouth Fury, was pretty much similar to the Dodge. Of course they, it was a Chrysler product and anyway. What we notice in this car is this grill is an actual grill that's a uh, metal mesh it's not just a mesh but it's a grill with all elements just like in a real car a chrome trim has a very high quality just like the lenses here as we can see headlights and directional lights look very nice and very accurate they are very realistic just like this dodge logo right here and those chrome trims around the headlights the hood has a Pretty good design and it shuts correctly. It doesn't have any big gaps or misalignments, just like we find in some other brands. And the windshield has a very good transparency. I really like this light green that creates a sort of a contrast with the dark green at the top and on the tail fins. The 383 engine that looks very nice and very accurate. Two carburetors, all hoses, pipes, wires, and cables. The engine bay is very well made as well. A pantographic hinge for the hood, and the battery has two terminals. We can see the two horns and the radiator that's made with a very high quality. One more look at the grill, and as we can see, it's an actual grill. We can see the stick through it. The interior of the car looks very nice. The steering wheel is uh, typical from the 1950s with this dashboard with horizontal speedo and those gauges that were very modern at the time, made in, made with trims, and the push button system for the transmission right here in the A-pillar. Door panels are very nice, the hinges are very nice, seats that used to swing around, so People could access the interior of a car, got a carpet and a floor mat and the pedals that's brake and gas. It's an automatic transmission. So it's a very nice looking car and a very nice looking interior. And a custom royal trim with the logo right here near the door. One more looking interior and the passenger seat that swings around as well. And the armrest in the center goes up and down. Dashboard. With a chrome trim and a radio right here. Very roomy interior for that car. A headliner with the sun visors and a very nicely made interior. And we can see central speaker right here in the rear deck. And a very nice transparency of the rear window. Seats look very comfortable. We can see the cushions are made with great detail. And the rear there's Dodge badge and a Dodge logo right here with a photo etched letters and a photo etched lock for the trunk. The trunk lid shits correctly and there are no misalignments, no big gaps, no issues at all. The antennas are made of metal. They're metal rods. They're not retractable, but they are very accurate and very realistic. The trim around the rear window is also very well adjusted. Tail lights, they're formed by a chrome part and an acrylic part, 
and the lenses are all made in acrylic and a tail fence that were typical of the end of the 1950s cars. The bumper guard and the license plate holder made one piece. It looks very nice. And with, with the trunk lid open, we can take a look at the trunk with the spare tire, the gas pipe, and the jack, the trunk lock, and the trunk with the hinges. There are no instructions for the jack. I, perhaps they didn't exist in real car. Uh, I'm not quite sure of it. And there's not the rubber seal right here. It's cast in metal, but it's not painted black. So this is something we could paint black with a black marker. But I'm going to check on the car first before doing that. In general, this looks really perfect. Sunstar Platinum does a great job. The base of the car looks very realistic and very well made. This is a body and frame, so we see the frame and the body of the car that's very well made. And the base of the car is attached to the body by those screws here, but anyway, they are very small and they're also painted black, so they wouldn't show up so much. Those four holes here for attaching this car to the styrofoam base, the, the inner box, and, and so it could be a little bit more protected. Uh, the rear and the front suspensions are look very nice and very realistic. They seem to have some coil springs, but they are quite hard, so they don't look functional at all. This drive shaft here does not spin, but it looks really very realistic. Engine and tranny are made in aluminum color, and the mufflers, aluminum color as well, with the muffler tips made in chrome. They look very nice, and the gas tank looks also very accurate. Ranking this car from 0 to 10, I would give it a 10 with no doubts, really. Sunstar Platinum makes great model cars, and this is one more of their great model cars. They pick cars that sometimes no other manufacturer actually picks, and they make awesome models with a very nice quality and a top quality paint and top quality trim and details with all parts made separate from the body and really very carefully made and very richly made. So I think this car is really nice. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views, for all subscriptions. Please don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, to share this video, and let me know down in your comments what you think about the video in the car. And also click the bell for news. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.